Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, as part of the new series on the new version 2.2, we're looking at all the new features. So this is video number two, and this is all about the powerful mixing effects that we now have in GarageBand. So let's jump in and take a look. Now to show this one, I've got a track here, I've muted everything, well, I've soloed uh, just this one guitar track, which I will play now. So that's what that one sounds like. Now, in earlier versions, if I wanted to change this sound, I'd be able to press the settings button that used to be up here. I'd go in, I could change a little bit of reverb and echo. I could pan it left and right. I could adjust the volume and that was about it. So there wasn't a whole lot of options for mixing and changing the sound um, and it did sort of limit things within GarageBand. What we have now is basically a full suite of EQ and effects. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that right now. If we tap on this little button up here, the little mixer icon, then we go to our effects and EQ options. So we've got the basic stuff up here. We've got our output and our track pan, and we've got mute and solo there. So they've always been there, pretty self-explanatory. The new section we have down here, which is super cool, is we've got plugins and EQ. So we can actually control the compressor settings, the treble and the bass. We did have that with some of the audio recording in the past as well. So that's not super new, but does certainly work and work a bit better and has a better interface. And our master effects. So these are those effects I was talking about before where we have echo and reverb. So we'll go through each of these and I'll show you what's new um, and what's, uh, what's similar to what we've had in the past. So first of all, plugins and EQ. So yep, we can adjust these. So if we just play our track, And you can hear the difference. If I crank the compressor up, you can do the same. You can put the bass right up, or the treble. So that starts actually adjusting our sound. If we go, if we hit on the button here, we can actually go in and explore the next level of options that we have. So you'll notice here that we've got a noise gate on already with a threshold there. So Noise gate, I won't go into details on every one of these, but a noise gate basically means that it turns off the recording or the microphone at the point where it, where it hears a particular level of sound. So the reason you'd use a noise gate is that if you had a bit of background noise, then in between when the music's not playing, so if you have a break in the, in the guitar coming through, you don't want to be hearing that hiss or that background noise. So you can play with the noise gate to do that. The compressor has a whole heap more settings here. So if you've used a, a DAW, a digital audio workstation in uh, on a PC or on a Mac, you'll be very familiar with these. So we can now with the compressor adjust the threshold, which is how much, um, at what level the compression actually starts kicking in. Um, and if you, if you want more information on how a compressor works when recording or mixing, there's heaps of videos. Just search for compressor, how to, uh, if, uh, something like that, and you'll find plenty of information. The ratio, so how much compression is applied basically. Attack, how quickly the compression is applied there. The gain, so the output gain afterwards, so after the compressing, compression's been done, so you can make up the gain if you need to. And then the mix, so how much of this compression is actually being included in the mix. It's a very simple explanation of that. Obviously there's a lot more detail you can go into in terms of the compressor. So the other thing we've got here is the visual EQ. And this is super cool because in the past we haven't had, we've had very basic treble and bass controls, whereas now we have a parametric EQ to use. So if we go back and not bump the phone too much and play this track. You can hear there that when I push the mids up, they get quite a different sound. If I pull those down, it pulls the mid right out. We've only got the bass and the treble there. So if we wanted to put a, a bass cut down the bottom, boost the treble a little bit, find whatever frequency we wanted to either enhance or pull down by sweeping around, finding what we like, and there we go. So Visual EQ just gives you a way to uh, actually change the sound with a lot more detail than we've had before. It's not just a treble and a bass knob. You can now find the exact frequency you want and actually uh, adjust that to give you a better sound. The other thing we have in here is the ability to edit these plugins. So you can see at the moment we've got the noise gate, um, the compressor, 
the visual EQ. So we can uh, actually slide, well, we can add this by tapping the, um, the plus button there, and we can put in a new effect here. So if we wanted to, on this one, add, uh, let's add some tremolo. This was something a bit different to this. Then we can, we've got that plug in there now, and let's play. We'll put the depth right up. So you can hear <laughs> uh, the settings there were pretty uh, pretty ordinary. So you can hear that sort of tremolo. In in this case, it was sort of a pumping. But you can change the the rate. You can change the the stereo phase um, and the depth of the tremolo there. And you can play around with that to get some pretty cool effects on that particular guitar sound. Uh, if we go back to edit again and we take that one off. The other thing that we can add, so these are the built-in GarageBand effects, and these are, uh, there's different effects based on, on the, uh, the instrument or whether you're using the amp or whether you're using the, the um, audio recorder. Um, so you can choose those and, uh, and add effects to your tracks. You can also use audio unit extensions. So this really expands the capability of GarageBand to the next level. So what we have now is the ability to bring in a third-party plugin like this uh, audio voice rack effects. Um, and if we tap on that one, in fact, We've now got that added, and if we tap the settings there, it will open up the third-party interface. So now we've got this uh, bright room reverb that we've put on our track, and if we play... There you go, you can hear a little bit that we've got that reverb sound in there, which is a really cool way uh, of bringing in really fresh and new and different sounds, because basically any uh, plugin that supports audio unit, the AU, um, standard can be used now within GarageBand on the iPhone, which is very, very cool. You'll notice here the little blue lights. We can actually turn on and off each of these effects, which when you're mixing is really good to just hear the difference between the sound if you've got those on or off. So if we take all those off and play, if we say hit the compressor, the sound for the lifts, let's throw our reverb on from our AU effect, You can hear that uh, nice reverb coming in there. Turn that off again. Hit our EQ. You can hear the EQ, it's flattened out, that, that bass sound, um, and the mid-range that we'd actually change there. So you can see there that the EQ is enabled and it's made those changes. Turn that off, goes back to what it was. So there you have it. That is the amazing new mixing effects that we have. Now I've shown you this using just one instrument and it, it does vary slightly when you go into different instruments and, and uh, the, the rack you get, the, the number that you can apply there and how you do that changes slightly. But the, the basic principles are the same in that we go into the plugins and effects here. We can select our options. We can edit to remove and add in as we like. Uh, and then we can turn on and off to actually see how the effects are actually working. So a really big improvement, a big change, and a really good job uh, by the team to, to implement these, and it really does change the way that you can record and takes that ability to mix uh, and mix down a track um, to the next level. I hope you enjoy the video, and thanks for watching.